Okay, in this uh, revision tutorial, we're going to be finding averages, mean, median, and mode, and also the range, which isn't an average, uh, from frequency tables. Okay, so here's our frequency table. So this frequency table is all about shoe sizes. So the data that was collected is all about shoe sizes. So the people that were asked had either size 4, size 5, size 6, size 7, or size 8. Okay, our mean our median and our mode should be like something from this side from the data that was collected the frequency tide is just side is just telling us how many times someone said size 4 how many times someone said size 5 how many times someone said size 6 and so on okay but our mean median and mode should be numbers like this set there will be nothing near 12 okay so make sure, the common mistake is that people use the wrong side numbers. So the evens over here we want, it's the data that's being collected. And the data in this case is shoe size. Okay, so let's look at the first one. First ones, right, mode's one of the easiest ones. Okay, mode is the piece of data that has, has the highest frequency in this case. So it's really easy to see from a table, so our information's already been grouped. We can see that 12 people said they had size 6 feet, okay, 10 people said they had size 7, but the highest frequency, the most common, okay, the mode, in this case, mode equals 6, not 12, 6, which piece of information was collected 12 times? It was the number 6, okay, nice and straightforward, mode is most. Right, let's move on to the next easiest one to do, which is sack Okay, now, for the mean, normally, we've got to add up all the pieces of information that's given to us when it's raw data, when nothing's been done to it, and then divide by how many pieces of data there are. Well, something's, we've actually had some work done with the data. It's been organised into groups. We know the number of people that said four, there were eight. There were eight people that said four. So if we were doing this, you know, we might have seen a four four, another four, it's not a very good one, another four, another four, another four, another four, is that eight, one, two, three, four, no, that's seven, another four, so our data, raw data would have looked like that, then we would have had nine fives, I'm not going to write all those, we would have had twelve sixes, then there would have been ten number sevens, and then finally at the end there would have been one eight, if we'd organised it, okay, but we don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to write all of those numbers out and then add all of those numbers up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little uh, piece of work. So when we get our information in a table, we're going to add a column to it. Okay, right. I'm going to call the shoe sizes X and the frequencies that go with them F. Okay, so if we were doing this on paper, as I said before, when it was raw data, and I gave you eight fours, you wouldn't hopefully do four plus four plus four plus four. You'd do four times eight. So we're going to do a quick multiplication and multiply all of these numbers up. Okay, so I'm going to do four times eight. I'm going to do five times nine, six times 12, seven times 10, and eight times one. Okay, so there's my five multiplications I've got to do, which I get from the columns on the side, to the side. Okay, so we've got four times eight, that gets us 32. It's not very good too. I get 5 times 9 is 45. And I get 6 times 12 is 72. 7 times 10 is 70. And 8 times 1 is 8. Okay, so that just replicates what we would have done if it was. Okay, so if we were adding all of these up, we would have got, for all the 4s, we would have got 32 and so on, all the way down. Right, now we need to add all of those up. Okay, so I need to. I'm going to use a funny, introduce a funny little symbol. That's called the summation symbol. So I'm going to add up all of the x times f. So I'm adding up all of those. So I get, when I do that, 227. I also need the total of all the f's. All right? These are the frequencies over here. So I need to know. So when we do the mean, we add up all the numbers, which I've got over here, and we multiply by how many numbers there were. That's my total frequency. That's how many people I asked their shoe size. So in this case, we get, add all those numbers up, and you get 40. Now to work out the mean, 
you've got to do a division. You have to do all of the numbers added up, which I've done over here using multiplication, divided by how many numbers there were, which I've got here. Okay, so doing that, the mean, if I could write mean, would help. equals 272, or 227, sorry, divided by 40, okay, and that gets us, uh, I'm just going to squeeze it in over here at the side, which isn't very nice mathematically, because I've got two equal signs in a row, naughty me, we get to one decimal place, 5.7, okay, so when we do mean from a table, Okay, just to recap, we quickly we need to do whatever the piece of data is, four times how many times you saw it, eight. We get the total for we do that for each row, we do that, we get we get a total, which is what this little symbol means. You get the total of all the frequencies, you divide them, you got your mean. Right, let's move on. Okay, median. Right, median's the middle number. When the data is in order, it's already in order. So what we need to do is find the position of the middle piece of data. Right, we've just worked out there's 40 pieces of information. There's 40 pieces of information. Get a pen. Right, so to find the middle, because that's an even number, there's going to be two in the middle. Okay, so add one to that, and then divide that answer by two. If I do that, I get 20.5. So this is going to help us. That's the position of the middle piece of inf num uh, number. Okay, middle piece of information, sorry. But there isn't one in a half place. So that means I'm looking for the 20th and the 21st pieces of information. Okay, those two are in the middle. Okay, the 20th and the 21st. Okay, right, and there should be two. I knew there should be two because there's 40 pieces of information. Right, let's find it. Okay, so in this table, what do we know? We know that the first eight numbers were all fours. So one positions one to eight are all in this group here okay then i've got nines so my sorry fives okay and i've got nine of those okay so that would fill us up from uh nine up to 17 so the 17th piece of information will be here the 18th piece of information will be in here and then there's 12. so that is going to take us up to 29 pieces of information so the 29th piece of information is in here, which is a 6, and the 18th is a 6, and everything in between is a 6 in between the 18th and 29th. That means the 20th and 21st must both be 6s. So 6, the median, must be a 6, because it is where the 20th and 21st piece of information are. Okay, so the first 8 one to eight were in there and then you had nine up to 17 in there and then 18 right all the way up to 29 so that means our information must be in there the middle number when you put them in order and the table already has them in order for us okay last which isn't an average okay and the range okay we use only information in in my table the left column so it's only this okay do not use this information here okay okay so the biggest shoe size take away the smallest shoe size smallest was four biggest was eight so the range is the biggest piece of information collected which was an eight take away the smallest which was a four so eight take away four which gets us an answer of four the range was spread out over four values this often is nothing like the data over here okay remember mean median and mode should be something like these numbers here range often is not in this case it is but often it's not